Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week, we review Virgin Atlantic Upper Class. Celebrity Radio love to fly Virgin Atlantic, but why? Well, for us, VA fully understand hospitality, making you feel welcome and important, expediting your transit as efficiently and quickly as possible, and causing you as least inconvenience and aggravation as possible. From drive through check-in to baggage claim, Virgin Atlantic go the extra mile to make everything as simple as possible. As Virgin roll out more 787s and new aircraft in 2016, Wi-Fi at 35,000 feet as well as USB and power will be available for all. Virgin Atlantic offer the best value business plus service in the world in our opinion. There are two levels to a VA upper class ticket. You can take the limo option which will pick you up and drop you off from home on an open ticket. Alternatively, you can make your own way to the airport which is two or three times cheaper. Alternatively, you can make your own way to the airport and go on a specific flight, which is often two or three times cheaper. Either way, if arriving into Terminal 3 Heathrow by car, make sure you use the Virgin Wing, basically a drive-through check-in. The best airline invention ever as far as we're concerned. You totally avoid the chaos of the terminal. You go straight into private security and into the lounge within five minutes. It's extraordinary. We love the Virgin Atlantic Wing. You'll be delivered to duty free at breathtaking speed. You can then go straight to the clubhouse where you can relax and have a full three course meal should you choose. The clubhouse is located in most major VA hubs. This is a real treat, an absolute oasis of calm away from the chaos of the terminal. For me, this is the highlight of the transit and the beginning of the holiday proper. Heathrow, JFK and Gatwick naturally have the biggest and most impressive clubhouse lounges. In smaller airports, VA use other executive lounges. You can also include extras like shoe shine, hair, spa and massage services should you wish. You'll see video of the clubhouse here at our exclusive review at Celebrity Radio. I really do suggest you give yourself a couple of hours at the clubhouse. It's an experience. It's relaxing. It's decadent. It's part of the joy of flying upper class. Who said it's not about the destination, it's about the journey? Well, that certainly sums up what Virgin Atlantic have done with their lounge. Virgin Atlantic offer free Wi-Fi in the lounge and on board for $14.99 on some flights. It's available on all of the new Dreamliners and A330s. In life, you get what you pay for. And as wonderful as BAR, Virgin have the edge throughout your airport transit due to these little touches. The food on my 2016 flight to Miami was impressive, although the food in the lounge is better. The service on board was exceptional, utterly faultless. Nothing was too much trouble. I was really sad to be on board one of the last 747 flights ever to Miami. I know this aircraft is environmentally questionable, but what a legend of the sky. 50 years of almost impeccable safety and service. Virgin Atlantic will send more 747-400s to the desert to rot in 2016 and replace them with the brand new 7879 series, which is one of the most sophisticated aircraft in history. From huge windows, advanced lighting, quiet cabin and new seats, this aircraft is a piece of work. In in upper you'll have all of the same service and flatbeds but in a cleaner atmosphere with fresher air. You cannot fail to be impressed by the room and comfort in Virgin Upper Class. VA is absolutely the best value for money in terms of service and experience. On board I recommend you request a sleep suit, basically Virgin Atlantic pyjamas. Why come off smelling of plane when you can be fresh and relax throughout? The food on board Virgin Atlantic has improved in recent years after a period of disappointment. You usually get a full meal during day flights, followed by afternoon tea before landing, as you can see in the pictures. On night flights, I always eat in the lounge three courses if you want, and then take two night all and wake up for breakfast in the arrivals lounge. What's the point of paying for a flatbed if you don't sleep? Virgin Atlantic upper class is better than any business class, but not comparable to Emirates, BA or Qantas first class. Let's be clear. This is basically upper business or lower first. However, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, I do not believe you will get a better upper class business service anywhere in the world. Once back on the ground at Heathrow, do not miss the Revivals Lounge. This Arrivals Lounge offers showers, massage and full English breakfast away from the chaos and insanity of Terminal 3. I wouldn't miss it. The perfect way to finish your trip with Virgin Atlantic and restart normality back in London. Bravo VA, you have mastered the art of customer experience and stopping at nothing to make it the most enjoyable and least aggravating and annoying that it can possibly be. 
The drive through wing is pure genius and worth the ticket price alone. I look forward to my next flight with Virgin Atlantic. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Thanks for tuning in. Ta-da.